three exercises to work your entire back. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. And these exercises can be done at home with minimal equipment. What's up everybody, welcome back to Minus the Gym. My name's Ryan, I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition specialist, and I'm here to help you get in shape at home. And here's the thing, this video is gonna be all about three exercises to build your entire back. And a lot of people ask me, hey, what back exercises or pulling exercises can I do without a bar? And honestly, my answer to that is, I don't have an answer. You really want to invest in a bar if you wanna be seriously building your back with pulling exercises. So the minimal equipment you will need to do the exercises in this video is a straight bar of some sort. And I'm gonna be using the base bar made by Base Blocks. And just in case you're interested, I can get you 10% off with discount code MINUS10. All right, use that at checkout at their website, baseblocks.fit. I'll put a link down below. You can get 10% off the base bar. All right, the first exercise I use and recommend for building your back is wide grip pull-ups. And the reason why I recommend this is wide grip pull-ups are gonna help widen your back. They're gonna build your lats. So when you see guys with those big wings sticking out you know, underneath their armpit, that's probably from weighted pull-ups, especially wide grip. And when I say wide grip, I mean instead of shoulder width grip like this, you wanna move them wider than shoulder width. Now, of course, when I do these on the base bar, I have to do them in an L-sit position. And what's great about this is that you're simultaneously working the core and the thighs. So it becomes a sort of full body exercise. But you don't have to do that. When we're talking about just building the back and widening the lats, you just wanna focus on doing pull-ups anywhere. It doesn't have to be on a low bar with a wide grip. Of course, it is good to change up your grip now and then. So do close grip, do shoulder width grip, and even do supinated, like, like chin up position, right? With your palms facing you. But ultimately, it's the wide grip pull-ups that are gonna widen your back. When you feel ready, like when you're able to do eight, 10, 12 pull-ups, you can start adding weight. And a good way to do that is with a weighted vest. You may have seen me in previous videos on my outdoor pull-up bar using my weighted vest. And the reason why I typically do it on the outdoor pull-up bar is you wanna make sure whatever pull-up bar you're using has a weight capacity that can support you plus the extra weight. So keep that in mind. I believe the weight capacity on my base bar is 230 pounds. So you just wanna look at how much you weigh plus the weight you're using, make sure it's safe. All right, exercise number two is rows. Now, when I say rows, I mean a, a wide variety of rows because this is a horizontal pulling exercise whereas pull-ups were a vertical pulling exercise. And this is gonna work a little differently. You're still gonna be working the lats, but more like the lower lats, the lower part um, you know, further down your back. But body weight rows tend to just sort of thicken the back. When I say thicken, I mean if you were to look at someone from a side profile, they would look thicker from the side. All right, that's what rows really tend to do. And I have found that using close grip on your rows is actually the most effective at building up and, and thickening the back. When you're first starting off with body weight rows, you want a bar that's low to the ground. So this could be a horizontal bar like the base bar or a dip station, whatever you prefer. But you wanna be able to be on an incline with your feet still on the floor and then you're pulling your chest upwards towards the bar. As you get used to this and start building strength, you can start raising one foot off the floor. So now you're doing it with just one leg supporting you. And this will eventually prepare you for removing both legs off the floor and doing a tuck. Each progression adds more resistance. So make sure you're always challenging yourself. Don't get stuck in a rut where you're just doing the same amount of reps and the same exercise over and over, especially with rows. You'll wanna make sure you work through those progressions working up to tucked front lever pull-ups because that's ultimately going to build your back more. Okay, and for exercise number three, I really wanted to make this deadlifts because deadlifts, I think, are a critical exercise for the lower back. But the thing is, a lot of people don't have dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, or any kind of weights to lift. So number three is reverse hyperextensions. These are gonna work your lower back, your glutes, and your hamstrings. Similarly, like same muscle groups that a deadlift would work, but just not in the same way and not to the same degree. So what you wanna do is you wanna lay your torso and your hips over an object. This could be a couch, an ottoman, a bench, a table, whatever you want. I'm doing this on a Swiss ball on the demonstration. And then what you wanna do is engage the lower back and the glutes, and you'll feel it in the hamstrings as well to raise your straight legs behind you. Also, make sure you keep tension in the thighs as you do these as well. And in addition to reverse hypers, 
All right, once, you, once those get easy and you're doing say 12 or 15 reps a set, you can move on to this other thing I like to do. I'm not even sure what the name is, but I get into a tucked front lever on a straight bar and then I pull myself up into a diagonal inverted hang and then lower back down into a tucked front lever. And I repeat that for reps, raising myself back up into a diagonal inverted hang. And if you really want to try something fun and challenging, what you can do is work on your headstand pike press. All right, and I say headstand because that's more approachable for most people than a handstand press. So what you want to do is start off in a pike position and then slowly lower the top of your head down to the floor. Make sure you have some cushioning. And then keeping a pike, try to keep your legs as straight as possible, slowly raise them up to a full headstand. What you're going to notice is that you feel this a lot in the lower back and the glutes. And as you repeat this for reps, slowly lowering your legs back to parallel to the ground and raising them back up, it's really a great exercise for the lower back. So sorry if that was a lot of information. I do recommend doing deadlifts if you can, but if you don't have equipment to do any deadlifts, you don't want to invest in rubber bands or, or dumbbells or anything like that, then work on your reverse hypers, your diagonal inverted hangs, and of course, if you want to, your headstand pike press. All of those will work your lower back muscles, the erector spinae, quadratus lumborum, even the glutes, etc. Okay, everybody, I hope this video was helpful to you. All right, when I made the bigger chest video last week, a lot of you responded saying, yeah, do back, do shoulders, do legs, do core. So I'm going to make a whole mini series out of this and just see how it goes. If you found it helpful, please drop a like, all right, because that helps me out in return. YouTube will promote this video to more people. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you want to learn more from me. All right, and with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you then.